Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another daily energy draw. I just need to take a minute and say, holy cow. <laughs> I record all of these um, at once and then schedule them throughout the week because that's just easiest for me to do. Um, and yesterday's daily, I need to take a minute from that because it just completely, completely blew my mind. Um, that was receiving a download in real time. There was a lot of information that came in. I was getting a little bit frustrated with Spirit as you guys saw because I'm like, I don't know how to translate this. I, there was so much energy and so much um, that was coming in that was that was new for me. Usually when I'm channeling, it's I have some kind of understanding, but this was just all at once and all new. Um, so I do apologize if it felt a little bit convoluted. Um, I'm sure we're going to be talking about that and channeling more with that energy coming forward um, in more readings. Um, but um, yeah, usually I like to sit with it for a little bit before I'm able to bring it to you guys just so that I'm able to articulate it pretty well for you guys but that just came in and I didn't want to stop recording I didn't want to pause I want you guys to have it as as raw as it is and that's what it was um uh never channeled with da Vinci before <laughs> Copernicus was and Galileo bringing forth their energy too was new for me um so uh this is this feels kind of incredible. Um, this kind of feels incredible for me. This is all new. Um, that information was all new. So, um, yeah, if you haven't, check it out. Um, I'm, I remain humble and grateful um, to be, to do this work and be that kind of messenger. Um, you know, I don't even, I'm not even in an energy of doubting. Usually I would step into an energy of, is this real? Am I doubting? But the energy was so strong and it just all came in in a rush um, that I don't even have time to doubt <laughs> right now. Um, gratefully, gratefully. Um, so, whew, Ascension is picking up. Um, this is what we're here for. This is what we're here for. We are here to reshape new earth, the new reality um, for, from a higher level of consciousness. And that higher level of consciousness is bringing forth wisdom and understanding of what seems like old teachings and old guidance in a new way. And that's what yesterday's daily was all about. It's about, we have barely scratched the surface, um, teachings and guidance that came forth. Even, you know, what, what have, I've understood about my own, you know, I've been doing this for about three years now and people, my readings are all meant to be timeless and people who are, are watching readings from that they're called to from two, three years ago are still resonating for them on their journey now. That's what it means by timeless. And with Da Vinci's energy coming in, his teachings are timeless. They helped us to evolve up until a certain point um, within our society, within the framework of our society as we have it now. But we've barely scratched the surface. We're going to be looking at his work. Um, I feel like the experts are going to be looking at his work um, in a new light, in a new way. And that's going to help us really craft and reframe and and shift society even more um, into this higher consciousness, in the physical realm, into a higher consciousness. Um, we, we've barely scratched the surface here on um, uh, new ways of looking at the cosmos, new ways of looking at ourselves, new ways of looking at life, new ways of looking at technology. Um, we've barely scratched the surface and we're going to be revisiting the old masters who are ascended masters in and of themselves in their own right. Um, is what they brought forth um, because they were ahead of their time. They were really channeling and um, they're, we're going to be bringing forth their energy more. We're going to be bringing forth um, their teachings more, their guidance more in a new light, in a new way, looking at it in a new way that's going to help really shape new earth reality, the physical reality within our higher consciousness, new earth, within our new ascended reality. Um, because... Um, there's more there. There's more there that we haven't even considered yet because we were in one frame of mind and looking at it through one lens and one perspective, but there's more. It's like when you read a book or you look at a painting um, between, you know, if you're in a certain state of mind versus another state of mind, you have different understandings. That's the same kind of energy. That's what they were saying in Monday's Daily. It's the same kind of energy. We're going to be looking at these works, these workings, um, with a different mindset, with a different perspective, with a different level of consciousness, 
because of our ascension journey as a collective. And so we're going to be picking up on new things, again, barely scratch the surface and, and learning from a different level and applying that to our, you know, the new reality that we, that is being created in every given moment. Um, but reshaping and reframing, um, this new earth, this, this new society, these new structures, um, they're going to be assisting us. Um, so <laughs> that's, God, that's incredible. That is incredible. Okay. So today I am still reeling from that. That's amazing. So today we're going to be using the sacred traveler Oracle cards <clears throat> and let's see spirit. Let's see what you have to say to us today. This is all just God. You know, you reach a point in your ascension journey where you do start to question everything. You start to question, is this real? Is the magic that I'm feeling real? Is the energy that I'm feeling real? Um, but then you reach a certain point where it's like you can't question it anymore because it is just so beautiful and mind-blowing and it feels so real and so right that you don't have any choice but to have faith. You don't have any choice but to believe. You don't have any choice but to accept and I feel like that's what yesterday was for me. <laughs> Channeling yesterday's message was for me. It was like um, when Copernicus came in, you know, Galileo, okay. You know, I kind of, I kind of jive with him. You know, I read, uh, I read some poems about him. Sarah Williamson, her poem, The Old Philosopher's Tale about Galileo is one of my favorites. Um, but when they brought in Copernicus, that name not anywhere on my radar, not anywhere in my awareness. So that's how I knew, um, that's how I knew. And it's like, I can't even, I can't even question this anymore. Um, so thank you guys for believing with me. This is a crazy magical journey and it is just going to get weirder and more magical and more beautiful. And God, now I'm excited. <laughs> now I'm like, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, let's do this, Spirit. What do you have to say for us today for my collective? What do you have to say for us today? Okay, we have Valiant Courage. Take action with passion. This, <laughs> on the bottom of the deck, we have the Great Adventure. This feels two messages coming in. Um, number one, just like what I was talking, this ascension journey is a great adventure and it's time for you to have courage. It's time for you to step up. And I think it was Monday's daily, Mondays or Tuesdays. Um, I can't remember. I think it might have been Mondays as well. It was all about take action, but from the heart space, take action, but let your intuition lead the way. We really are stepping up on this ascension journey. It really, we really are leveling up. We really are going through this beautiful ascension process of knowing ourselves, self mastery, but it's not just about ourselves. It's the connection to the whole and how the whole is truly ascending. Everything is connected. So as we ascend, so does the collective. And you can see that in your own life. Um, we're really pulling back and looking at things from the broader perspective, from the, the higher perspective, from the soul's perspective, I'm hearing source energy's perspective, creation's perspective. Um, you can look at that, narrow that down into your own life, see how something shifts within you, see how people react, pe see how um, your life changes, see how people change around you. As you shift your energy, as you rise in your vibrations, people naturally either fall away from your experience or or they level up with you, or they shift with you. Um, that is just the, the law of like quantum entanglement. Um, it's, it's energy. Everything is energy. Everything is connected. We are all connected to each other. We are all unique expressions of source, but we are all connected through source energy itself. That is unity consciousness. And so we're all on this great ascension journey, this great adventure, and that's really what it feels like, this beautiful adventure. And they're saying, yes, feel that joy, feel that vibration, that high vibration, feel that high energy, feel that, that sense of purpose, feel that sense of wonder, feel that sense of beauty, because that's what the adventure is. And even though it had been very, very difficult up until this point, that difficulty it's not that it was meant to be difficult. It's just it was difficult because of everything we were healing and clearing out of our systems to reach this point. 
to reach this point and you can feel the shifted energy because you can feel it within yourself and so now what they're saying is have courage keep having courage no matter where you are in your path no matter where you are in your journey keep having courage because the the journey and the the adventure it just gets better it just gets better so even if you feel like you're going through a bit of a tough cycle right now know that cycles end know that journeys keep evolving and that you're just going to keep getting better because you're doing the work but you have to do the work you have to allow yourself to clear out all that trauma all that old energy all the old cycles all the old karma you have to have the courage to do that because that's what this journey is about. That's what the human experience is about. That's what ascension is about. That's what that's what this journey is. Um, so allow, yeah, allow yourself to clear, allow yourself to purify yourself. And by purify yourself, we just mean um, healing, going through the healing, healing the energy, um, clearing the energy. And what that means is clearing toxic patterns, clearing toxic energy, clearing toxic cycles. Um, anything that isn't in alignment with yourself anymore, allowing that to allow yourself to let go of that, allowing yourself to become a best and higher version of yourself, clearing out old habits, clearing out old mindsets, old perspectives, old beliefs that may have served you at one point in time, but just don't serve this version that you're becoming now that you're transforming into. That is what evolution is all about. Evolution is all about transformation. That is what ascension is all about. Ascension is all about becoming better and better versions of ourselves because we're rising in consciousness and shifting perspectives allow yourself to have that courage allow yourself to continue to be on this beautiful journey because that really is what it is all about okay they just pulled their energy back so i feel like somewhere in there was the message <laughs> i don't know what it was but somewhere in there was the message um so stay tuned for tomorrow we'll be back with romance angels friday i'm sending you guys so much love so much light and we'll see you then bye